the, uh, the assembly floor of U.S. Freedom Biofuels, and this is actually our prototype machine. This is the very first machine we put together uh, just in concept to see if we had a winning model. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the BD-40 prototype. Down here at the bottom we have our, our pull-off from our dewatering tank. This is where we would drain off any water and uh, or breading. You see there's some water coming off of there now and uh, some breading, some bad colored grease. We want to keep running that until we get to some good looking clear grease. You can see it's starting to clear up now and uh, at that point we can stop pulling off our grease. We're actually doing a dewatering process. Right now you can see the grease in the tank here is turning from the 4500 watt element and uh, that is going to cause the, uh, the water separation. Uh, when you see the bubbles go away, those bubbles are primarily moisture and oxygen trapped in the grease. When those disappear, then we have uh, all of our water separated and we can go ahead and go to the next step. As we walk around the tank here, the front part of the tank here is a, uh, a settle tank, methanol flash tank, that's its purpose. In here is actually fuel that has been uh, processed and waiting to be run through the prototype eco to -peer tower. And from there we'll go into some sort of storage. In this case we just drop it into a storage tank right here. So going around the other side here is our processor. Uh, you notice that the back side of our preheat tank, dewatering tank, there's the pickup for it. This is where we draw the grease from that tank and put it into the processor. It's about an inch above the bottom of the tank and the, the tank itself is concave. You can see that much better on the new BD-40 uh, shots that we have on the website. So from here, it travels through, gets picked up right here into the pump, up through the plumbing, and dropped into the top of our processor vessel. We have our processor running right now, and uh, you know the temperature here is about about 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's uh, got a few more minutes to go, and it'll shut itself off, and then we can go ahead and, and process, take this processed fuel, and move it into our settle tank, and pull off the trace amounts, remaining amounts of glycerin. So we'll pick it up at that point in just a moment. Okay, we're back here, and now we're ready to take and move our processed fuel from the processor over into our settling tank and methanol flash tank. So that's a real simple process. We take and close this valve, open this valve up, and we're now flowing our fuel right there into the settling tank. This whole process takes a few minutes, so we'll go ahead and uh, shut the camera off while that happens. But just to give you an idea of a reference point, there's our our starting point from our tank, there's a little bar in there, and we'll bring it up another 40 to 45 gallons from there. This is processed biodiesel fuel coming out of our prototype BD40 processor. It has not been washed. This is not washed fuel. It has not gone through the eco to pure uh, filtration system, but it will give you an idea how clean it is. Very good looking quality fuel. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and let that uh, fill, in, fill into the, uh, the settle tank here, the methanol flash tank, and we'll pick up the recording after the process of moving the fuel from the processor over into the settle tank. Okay, we're done transferring the biodiesel into our methanol flash tank. We now have the heat on in the methanol flash mode and we are going to go ahead and heat this fuel up to about 150 degrees on our outside thermometer. At 150 degrees on the outside thermometer, we're going to be about 175 to 180 degrees fuel temperature in our tank. Once that's uh, done, we'll let it sit until it ret returns back to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, then we'll go ahead and, and pump it through our dry wash tower. It doesn't take long to bring it up to temperature, but keep in mind methanol boils at 144 degrees Fahrenheit. So bringing it up to about 175, 180 degrees, uh, we'll be able to actually see 
the methanol vapors, the trace amounts of methanol still remaining in this fuel will literally be carried off into the air. It's probably only uh, a cup, maybe eight ounces in a 40 gallon batch. But if left in the fuel, it has a tendency to absorb moisture, and we don't want to see moisture absorbed into our fuel at any uh, stage of the game. So we'll go ahead and flash off the methanol. That helps us meet the ASTM spec, and it'll just take a minute to uh, get it up to temperature, get the flash done, and then it'll cool off rapidly and bring it back down. At the same time, over here in this tank, we still have our, our uh, WVO, our waste vegetable oil, going through the water separation process. So it's, uh, it's heating up. We've got this common wall between the two. And the benefit is, by having that, that common wall, it takes a lot less heat for either process. So this is our water separation tank. The water separation is going on right now with our waste vegetable oil. And uh, we'll just let that go. At the same time, we could be running another batch of fuel in the processor. So all of this can be happening simultaneously. But uh, in this case, we're, we're simply doing water uh, dewatering in, in the preheat tank and methanol flash in the settle tank. Those are the two steps that we're doing currently. All right, there is our, our thermometer on the outside of our, our uh, methanol flash tank, our settle tank, and you can see that the temperature is about 150 degrees. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn off that heat and uh, we'll let it, let it cool down for a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and get ready to pump it over through our dry wash tower, through the finishing filter, and up into storage. So we'll take a sample of it once we do that so you can see the, uh, the comparison of washed fuel to unwashed fuel. Okay, we're back at the methanol uh, tank, the, the settle tank, and we've got our heat turned off. You can see the fuel is no longer rolling in there. Uh, there's no bubbles indicating that we've got any issues with our fuel, which is excellent. And we look down here at our temperature gauge and we're at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can go ahead and now start the process of pumping it through our eco to pure tower. Now, this particular prototype, because it does not have a restrictor in it, we use this valve right here to regulate the flow. Then the processor, uh, the BD40 that you would have, or the BD65, would have a restrictor in it so that we could control the flow rate. No matter how far open you put the valve, it's going to flow at the optimum speed. So we're going to go ahead and turn our, our valve to the open position, flip our pump on, we're now pumping our fuel up through the hose and into our storage tank. And it will be uh, storing it in this particular tank until we're ready to move it over into our fuel dispensing tank. But in the meantime, I want to pull a little sample out of here just so we can get an idea of the, uh, the quality of the fuel. I'm going to try to do this without making too big of a mess. There's our fuel being poured right in there. Okay, didn't make a big mess. And we'll go ahead and turn that off for now. All right, here's what we started with. This is our feedstock. This is our waste vegetable oil. The waste vegetable oil has uh, uh, been dewatered, and, and that's what we started with with processing. This is our fuel after it came directly off the processor. We've got glycerin at the bottom, fuel on the top. This is what came out of the uh, methanol settle tank before it was washed. This is simply fuel prior to being washed. You can see there's a little bit of glycerin in the bottom. It's a little dark on the bottom. And then we have our finished product. You can see the difference in the clarity and uh, the difference in the quality. So that is our finished product coming right off of our eco to dry wash tower.